So this is a short demo of one of the modules that we added inside Pabli Connect as well as Pabli Form Builder. So essentially, when you see a typical form solution, they are usually one way solution. So that means if you are entering any data uh, right here inside any form, they basically store the very same form data at their backend. And you can basically see all the submissions by going into your account and logging into your account. And you can see all the submissions right there. But this specific form solution is a is a bit different in a way that we have integrated it with a uh, with a public connect solution. So basically what it can do is if you are entering any zip code right here, it can take that zip code and it can take that zip code to public connect with the help of webhook. Then public connect based on that zip code provided can do all the internal processing, whatever you want to do. It can fire an external APIs to find some data. And once some specific data has been found, it can return back the very same data uh, to Pabli form builder in the very same uh, key res uh, response pairs. So this specifically means that if you're sending some data through a form solution, you can instantly capture some data back uh, to the form solution in real time. So let me just do a specific demo and you will understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm just entering one US based zip code. I'm entering a US based zip code just because uh, this specific module is created for a US based city and it can basically find any specific city from the zip code provided to the form. So you can see I provided one US zip code which is 90210 and I will just click on show results. And as soon as that happens, you can see it's been running, the backend has been running. And based on that, you will see that it basically gave you the data that zip code provided was 90210. It's based in United States. The place name is Beverly Hills. The state is California. Longitude is this and latitude is this. So basically what it did is it took the zip code. It took that zip code and sent it to Pabli Connect in real time with the help of Webhook. So this was the first step which we captured right here and you can see the zip code has been captured right here which was 90210. When you when a webhook is sent it is sent also with different data like form id, ticket id, ip address, submission date. We do not care about this data right now. The only data we care about is this zip code. Next once this specific zip code is uh, received from the form builder we are taking this zip code to a open API, which is api.zippoportum.us. It's an open zip code to city identification API. And you can see that we have just, uh, just supplied the zip code that we have received above in the webhook response. And based on that, it basically, this API basically fetched all the details for us. Now we do not want to show the details uh, as it is because this is some, sometimes it is not very organized. Sometimes it is very, not very neat. And sometimes the response, the key value pairs are not according to the, uh, to the name naming convention that you really want to see. So for example, if you see the naming convention right here, we specifically wrote zip code, but this was showing as postcode. Then it was country, country abbreviation. And then we had this key, which says places zero place name, but instead we wanted a simple place name right here. So it was not very neat. So we actually responded back with a response. And this response is responded back with the help of data forwarder. So data forwarder is one of the modules uh, that we have inside Pabli Connect and we have recently built it inside Pabli Connect. It basically returns a workflow response to the source. So the source which has been making a request, as you know that we made the request with the help of Pabli form builder, we entered the zip code initially and we are basically returning the response of this entire workflow to the very same uh, source from where we received the zip code. Okay. So we have this module, which says return workflow response to the source. And here we actually supplied a JSON data, which is, which we organized in a neatly arranged key value pair. Now don't worry about this entire data. Let me just explain that to you. Uh, always JSON start, JSON starts with the, uh, a curly braces. And then you see a key, which is enclosed in double quotes. Then you see a colon, and then you see a value which is again enclosed in a double quote. And then for the next value, you again see a comma and then the key and the value. And for the third value, again, this goes something like this. Okay. And for each key, we have supplied a value, which is dynamic, which we received from the response above. 
and you can see we have mapped this very neatly in the zip code we have zip code in the country we have country in the place name we have beverly hills so don't worry about the key right here only the value will be fetched and displayed to the user so you can see zip code 90210 and that is the very same data that we are displaying right here zip code 90210 country united states so country united states and you can see we have neatly organized everything under this uh, written response to workflow it needs to be in single line so that is why i'm making it all in single line and effectively this works all the time and you basically get a response back whenever you are supplying any zip code to this form so i hope that you found you will find this uh, demo useful and you will basically uh, be able to send the data and response back to the form code i just forgot to tell you one thing and let me just show that to you as well um, to show the response inside the form response on the thank you page all you have to do is you have to go to settings and inside the thank you page you can edit it and you have to add this specific keyword which is show underscore webhook underscore response and basically you can add as many details as you want above that or below that but the keyword that you have to use in order to display the webhook response that is coming back from pabli connect is show underscore webhook underscore response so it basically allows pabli form builder to show a webhook response that has been sent back from pabli connect in real time as long as the workflow is executed so i hope that you will find this video useful uh, let me know if you have any questions and this is data forwarding to you uh, and you can basically use this module in any type of custom coding at your end even you can use it in pabli form builder or you can basically capture the response back through whatever software or whatever application you want and you can then neatly display that return data back uh, on your application or even you can uh, save the response that is being sent back to you on your database or whatever you want to do so again thank you for watching this video